Now I think I have to ask you a question. How many of you uh, know me or have uh, has read any of my books? Please, hands up. Okay. Well, that was a quiet deal. Uh, how, ma how many of you uh, have heard about me uh, through television, the media, press or radio? Hands up. Yeah, that was quite a difference. I think always I have to fill in the gap. But, uh, but it's nice to know uh, the readers, and that's why I always ask this question. You know, there are many authors who claim that they only write books that they themselves would like to read. Uh, but most writers, I think, write for someone, whoever this someone might be. I'm one of those writers who have developed some kind of love affair with my readership. You see, it's only because of them I can enjoy the privilege of working full-time as a novelist. And thanks to all the new social media platforms, um, the contact with my readers have, has become even more intense. Uh, and I like that. <laughs> and the co collaboration I'm here to talk about began with a half-completed novel I just didn't know how to finish. Um, you know, th sometimes things interfere. Uh, with your, what you do, your work. And uh, at this time, my life really sucked. Uh, <clears throat> so I can blame it on life itself. I just couldn't go on with my writing. And uh, in other words, I was stuck. And I was completely clueless about how to finish this novel. Um, then I had to choose between, you know, just tossing the manuscript or doing something radical about it. And that's when I got this idea. How about letting my readers finish the novel? I thought about it for a while and I found that thought really exhilarating because uh, uh, I just was curious about how it could end and because I didn't know how to end this uh, story. So I, um, I announced this offer on my blog and on all the other social networks where I was involved. And I created a website only for this purpose, which was named Kiss the Future. Uh, uh, later on, I found out that uh, this was the name of the U2 tour, so I had to change it into uh, Face the Future, but it was as good as that. And on this site, I published the half-written novel. I also described the characters very thoroughly, uh, the topic and the rules. You see, there had to be rules. The subject I wanted to put across was eating disorders and self-destructive behavior amongst young women, but from a mother's perspective. And the protagonist was a career woman, uh, well, the one on the cover, <clears throat> the career woman who discovered that her only daughter was suffering from anorexia. And uh, this mother had built her whole career and her professional life on uh, a magazine uh, where unhealthy and very skinny women, <coughs> very young women too, were exposed. And, uh, well, like most magazines, I guess. And the daughter hated the body images that her mother's magazine represented. Uh, but at the same time, <coughs> sorry, at the same time she was influenced by them, uh, hence the disease, you know, it's a double bind. that, uh, And that was the subject I wanted to, um, to get across with. Uh, but this, uh, this uh, uh, mother in the book had to make one of her life's most important decisions, uh, namely to um, uh, either kill her baby, um, her lifetime achievement, in order to save her daughter, or uh, just, well, choose her career instead. And this is where I stopped writing, and this is where I invited my readers to finish it. Um, and I set up a deadline and asked them to write the next chapter. Uh, <laughs> after that, I went sleepless. I feared that uh, perhaps nobody at all would contribute, and you know this was already bubbling in the press and everywhere, and that would be uh, very shameful for me and embarrassing. Or the other fear that my inbox would be flooded with uh, private diary notes or lousy poetry. Uh, you know, I never enjoyed poetry anyway. Uh, 
But on the very deadline, I got a bunch of, of well, uh, quite well-written contributions. And uh, soon I realized that my role from now on was to coach the participants and make them cooperate among themselves because it was their work now I had to focus on, not mine, because I'd stopped writing, you know. And I became some sort of director. And every other week I added a new chapter on the blog. And we also, on the blog, had an ongoing discussion about uh, the latest contribution and how we uh, should go from there. Uh, so, uh, after some months, uh, some of the uh, co-writers just returned with new chapters, and I found out this, you know, that we also have been talking about a lot uh, on the internet. We had formed a swarm a cluster, you know, a team. So this team showed up and it ended up with eight co-writers who continuously came back. And these co-writers, it's really funny because they live in different parts of Sweden and the youngest member uh, was a 22-year-old emo girl from Borlänge and the eldest one was a blue-collar worker from uh, Westerås, 69 years old. It's really funny, you know, you, when you're an author, just to see who uh, who are reading your books, because it's not always who you think. And uh, uh, slowly but surely we, <laughs> we reached a stage when uh, the novel had to uh, be finished. We had to agree upon an ending. And in order to do so, we had to meet in real life. So I uh, arranged a gathering at my place in Stockholm, invited all of them, and we were eating, drinking, uh, chatting, having a lo lot of fun and um, a lot of good laughs too. And then we agreed upon uh, and figured out how uh, this uh, novel should be completed. And uh, we divided between us the remaining chapters. Uh, during the rest of this process we used Google Docs um, and it worked very fine. So, voila! Uh, the novel was finished! <laughs> so it is... <laughs> <laughs> I just, it sounds very simple, but like uh, Hannah told you, it's, of course, it's hard work there too, in between. But to summarize, in a couple of months, my readers had managed to fulfill a story that had come to a dead stop for me. And they did it on their spare time, and with great passion and enthusiasm. The enthusiasm that, that lacked for me, they filled in it. And um, they read and discussed each other's chapters, and uh, I was given the opportunity to experience something very rare and also very worthwhile. I came so close to some of my most loyal readers, and I think that's an experience that most uh, writers don't ever uh, come across. So um, I can say that uh, this novel is a tribute from a group of readers to an author, but that would be to belittle them. Uh, I think, rather, this is a, a declaration of love from me to my highly esteemed readers, because writing novels is a love affair where love has got to be mutual. And interactivity is love in extended version. I think that interactivity is life. Thank you.